Well, hi everybody, Andrea here. Um, I hope you guys are having a good day today. It's Wednesday night for me right now when I'm recording this and I'll have it uploaded to you on Thursday morning. Um, my feet are killing me right now because today was my monthly shopping trip and I shopped for many, many hours and I am really tired. But I thought today instead of doing just a normal chat video, I'm gonna um, show you guys how I make my charts. Chrissy was wondering specifically about how I set up our chores right now and like I said I'm always changing things and doing something different but I will show you what we're doing at this particular point in time and then just so Trish was wondering exactly how I make a chart so I'm going to try something new today which is I'm going to try to do like a video screen capture thing and show you on my computer how to do the charts so um, I haven't done this before other than just messing around with it to try it out a little bit. So I think the audio is going to pick up all right. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes and hopefully you can see. But um, we'll go ahead and give it a try and see how it goes. So here we go. Okay, so I make a lot of my charts with Microsoft Word. Sometimes I use my print shop program, but um, generally I just use Word. So I go and I start a new blank document and this I'm going to make today a full size page chart but you can change the size of it by going to uh, page layout and then size and here you can pick to do I, sometimes I like to do the 5 by 8 where is that at? here's 4 by 6, 5 by 7 Oh, here. Here's a 5 by 8 That's the size I use for making the goal charts for the kids. Uh, it, let's see. If I switch orientations here, you can see this is... Um, let's make it a little smaller. This is the kind of a um, page I would use to make those smaller goal charts. But for today, we're going to stick with the regular um, page. Now i got to figure out how to put it back. All right, and I'm going to put it back on portrait. Um, I always like to use the narrower margins just because I can get more on a page. So I go right here to the margins and click narrow. You can make custom margins by clicking the custom button and then changing the size there. But I just usually use just the narrow ones. So then I'm going to go back to the home tab. And I like to have no spacing on my words. So what that means is when I push the enter key it doesn't leave a space between paragraphs it just goes right to the very next line so I usually choose no spacing and I'm gonna call this morning chores so I type that go down to the next line and then I'm gonna insert a table here's the dog <laughs> um, you can do a table like this where you just choose how many uh, cells you want but I usually just go insert table and then I'm going to type in I want to have a column for every day of the week and one for writing down the chores so that means I need eight columns and I'm not really sure how many rows I'm going to need so I'm just going to put in 25 and you can delete rows or add extra if you need to once you get started so here's my um, table and I'm going to make these cells here only half inch wide so I'm going to go to table properties <laughs> excuse the dog back there he's making grunting noises I'm going to put in half an inch for those and you'll see that made it a lot smaller here and then for where I'm actually going to write the chore I think I can go up to like four and a quarter probably yeah maybe yeah that looks alright and then click OK so now I have one wide column for writing the chore out and then these ones will be where we mark down um, where the kids initial it so here I'm gonna write chores or chore I'll do Sunday Monday oops, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday I keep doing that Friday and Saturday and I want to make it look funner so I'm gonna change my font here I'm going to go back to the home tab 
And I've been liking this font lately, so I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to make it a little bigger. I'll also change this font here and center it. Okay, so that's the basic way to set the page up. Then from here you can start typing in whatever chores you want to do. So I'm not going to do more than that, but I'll give you those for examples. Now, if you were doing a kind of a chart where you wanted to alphabetize, um, this is where you would you would select all of this and you push this little button here and that'll let you choose uh, it'll let you sort um, by column so I'm gonna put chore and then um, it doesn't matter on those because I don't have anything written in the others I'll put them all at the bottom <laughs> because these are blank ones I could have only highlighted these four and it would have done the same thing but you can see it put them in alphabetical order for me. Um, that's not how I would do it. Normally how I do it is for a chore list is I put them in the order that I want them to be done. So I think through what needs to be done before other things need to be done. So for instance, loading the dishwasher comes after emptying the dishwasher because we're going to put away the dishes that are already clean before we reload the dishwasher. So, you know, I think about what order they should go in and then I type them in that way. Um, something that only needs done maybe a few times a week or once a week, like let's see what something here. Um, oh, taking out the downstairs trash. We have a trash can downstairs in our library, and that only needs to be done once a week. So I'll show you what I do to show that. So let's say I want that to be done on Wednesday. So I take these cells here. And I choose to fill them with this little paint bucket color. There's lots of colors to pick from. You can just choose one. And I color those in. And then I color those in. So that when the kids are actually doing the chores, then they'll see that it only needs to be done on this day. And these ones are blacked out. So they don't need to do that chore that day. So then, if you want to fancy it up a little bit, you can... I'll highlight this top row and go to Design right here and it's already selected to be two and a quarter point line and I click borders and you can see here if I just want the cells that I've highlighted if I just want the bottom line to be uh, thicker then I would click this one or you know top left right I want all four of the edges to be thicker so I'm going to click the outside borders button and that makes a nice um, outline around the whole thing and then I actually want to do this whole section down here so I'm going to click that again and click that and then it makes it kind of look a little bit fancier. So this is what we've been doing right now for chores and we have a big long list I'll show it to you when I'm all done with the video but um, we have a, a whole list of things and then every day I just have the kids initial as they do them so whatever comes up next in the list if it's something that they're able to do then they would put their initial here and then the next kid to come along would do the next job initial unless they're not able to then they would skip to something like the littler guys or some things they can't do so they'll skip down and sometimes they need help reading Eden's the only one that is um, young that does this she's six so sometimes she feels like she is confused about which um, chore she should do so she'll ask for somebody to help her read the list but that's what we're doing right now. At the bottom of our page, I have a second um, table. So I'll insert another table. And it only has three columns and five rows. We do, we call them zones. And each one of the bigger kids has a zone that is their job just to do tidying up. So anytime that's one of their chores in the morning is to check their zone, we call it. And then anytime that stuff needs tidied up, I'll tell them to go check your zones and 
then they just go to that room and they'll just pick up anything that's out, whether or not it was their stuff. They just clean up whatever needs cleaned up in those rooms. So we have that on our list so that um, we can remember whose zone is currently, who, who currently has each zone. And they do switch from time to time so that somebody doesn't get stuck with the same rooms all the time. So I'm not going to do the whole thing, but you get the idea. And then you can also just make the fonts look nicer like we did the other ones. And then I'll go ahead and put a nice border around this one again. Go to the design and click around the borders. And if you want to have your words centered completely, not just centered um, left to right, but actually top to bottom also, then you can highlight your cells and then um, right click and then choose cell alignment. And you pick the box that has it like you want it. So do that and that moves all those words to be right in the middle of each cell. So there's another little way to make it look a little more professional. Um, I think that's everything I can think of to show you. That's pretty basic and it doesn't take very long. I usually have a list, um, or I add to my list, I should say, as I go on. So I like to leave some blank lines at the bottom because, especially when we're first starting something new, I always forget something. So I'll leave it blank and then I'll just hand write it in. And then the next time I go to print one out, I will go ahead and type it up and add it in there where it needs to be. So. So there you go, and um, let me get my other one that's already done and show it to you. Okay, so here's the one we've actually been using. Um, you can see that this one is all used up from this week. I'll show you down the side here kind of what chores it is that we do. Snowballs are bunny and Knuckles is the dog. And things like this, like filling the oatmeal basket and the dog food bucket and the flour and sugar buckets upstairs. That just gets done once a week. And I try to split up those extra jobs so they're not all on the same day. Um, just so that we don't have like an extra long day anytime. And then things like these um, trash, taking out the downstairs trash and the one from my office. We put that on Wednesday because Thursday is our trash day when the trash man comes. So I just like to do that the day before. Anyway, so those are some of the things that I try to pay attention to when I'm making out my lists. Um, one of the things I've been liking about doing it this way, which of course I'm sure this will change here in another few months, I'll probably come up with some different plan, but for right now I've been liking this because uh, with everybody initialing what they do, it helps me know who didn't do something very well. So if the job needs redone, I know who to go back to and have them come do it over. So I hope that was helpful to you. If you guys like having those kinds of videos, it was not hard to do the little screen capture thing. If there's something else you want to see how to do, um, let me know in the comments and uh, go ahead and like the video if you liked it. And if you are new, I would love it if you would subscribe and we will, oh, let's see, I'll be putting out tomorrow will be our field trip that we took to see the new baby calf. So we'll be doing one of those videos tomorrow and then I will not see you guys again until next Monday morning. There will be a new video out. So, um, we will see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.